but if he refuses to listen, you, you bring it to the church. So brothers and sisters, God is showing us how to handle things like this in in a way that we will not humiliate the person who is doing that, right? Because right now, it's always like when somebody makes a mistake, it's already on the internet, right? Or in some social media, or you tell it all to the whole congregation right away. So, in this first brothers and sisters, we do this because we still love about our, bro our brother and sisters, but, and, but, and we don't want to to shame them, right? We don't want to shame them in the congregation. And if they will still not change, then the Bible said, treat him as an unbeliever. To someone who doesn't, who is not yet a Christian. Amen? So what, what if you are the one who did offense? What shall we do? What shall we do, brothers? One example here that Jesus taught us is in Matthew 5, 23-24. In this verse it said, If you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, Leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. So brothers, what, what is God saying here? Your reconciliation with your brother is, or sister is more important than your offering. Amen? Amen? So we offer to God after we have reconciled to our brother and, and our sister. Because being reconciled to our brother or our sister is more important than, than our offering. Amen? Amen. If you come to worship and remember that you are wrong to your brother, the counsel given is not to begin worship but to go and be reconciled to your brother. God gives the remembrance of the offense so that you can reconcile immediately before you worship. Amen? Amen? So, as we continue, brothers and sisters, just like this here, it says, humility is not thinking less of yourself. It's thinking about yourself less. Because that's a, just a problem with, with us, even myself. Sometimes you think, you have been hurt. There was a uh, unfair. You've been treated unfairly. It is always the case. But you know, as even in not just in you know in the Bible, but even in the secular world, they say that if you think too much of yourself, I mean myself, you become so unhappy because everything that happens to you, you always I need to be. You need to uh, you need a paper in order to uh, uh, pay back for the damage that was done to you. So, but here it is telling us that you know what we just don't have to think so much of ourselves. Amen. But I'm not saying that. If you are not treated, if you are treated unfairly, you don't think of yourself as well. But it's a case of speeches, right? And again, brothers and sisters, in the Bible verse that we just read, Peter asked, how many times shall we forgive? You know, Peter, when when he asked Jesus, he thought, oh, I will ask Jesus seven times. Because, you know, in, in their time, the Jews, their culture or their tradition is that you have to forgive three times. And once after that, it's, that's it. The fourth time you don't forgive anymore. So maybe Peter was trying to be more... Uh, more forgiven. 
said, you should be forgiven seven times. So he, Jesus thought he's already uh, so generous. Okay, I will forgive seven times, so I think Jesus will be happy. But uh, Peter was surprised. Because what did Peter say in Matthew 18, 21? You must forgive him in their, in their time. You must forgive him three times, but the fourth time you, you don't forgive. So, and Jesus replied, I tell you not seven times, but 77 times. So he was surprised. That's a lot. So for us, we may be able to think, oh, okay, I will come up to 77 times. In the 78, I will stop uh, forgiving. But you know, it means, right, brothers? It just means without giving. Just forgive. Amen? Amen. Just forgive. You know, Jesus' message is contrast in the Old Testament. You know, one of the descendants of Cain, Lamech in Genesis 4 24, he said he boasted his ability to avenge himself of his enemies. He said, if Cain is avenged seven times, then Lamech 77 times. If somebody did something to me, I will avenge 77 times. So this is uh, an opinion from somebody who is an unbeliever, who is posting how he can avenge himself. But brothers and sisters, the message of Jesus Christ is just the opposite. Amen? This is the gospel. This is the gospel, brothers and sisters. This is reversed. If a sinner is saved by Christ and transformed by the gospel, he now must forgive his brothers without giving. Brothers, that's what he meant by the verse. If a sinner is saved by Christ and transformed by the gospel, he now must forgive his brothers without giving. We know it's hard depending on what offense that we write. Siguro kung somebody just uh, hit you by mistake and told you, you can say, it's okay. A few seconds you can forgive. But as, as the offense get higher and uh, heavier and heavier, it takes longer, right? If somebody owed you a hundred dollars, so yeah, it, it depends. But, but in the end, brothers, the message was you forgive. Amen? Amen. I know it is hard. I know it is hard. But we should see the example of the Lord Jesus Christ, the, the very essence of forgiveness. Remember when he is already on the cross? Right? After he being being spat upon and being hurt and being flogged and being led to the cross, and then he's already on the cross. And then Jesus said in Luke 23, 34, Father forgive them because they do not know what they are doing. So brothers, these are this is Jesus' message. And us Bilama Christian. These are this is the, the goal. Although it's hard, but you know I know it's it's hard, even myself. But uh, you know, just like you know what when just the other day, I had my haircut, and uh, <laughs> it was a, a Vietnamese uh, hair pattern. And uh, I think you had a misunderstanding. I said number four, and you thought number one. So I was just uh, close my eyes for a little bit, thinking it was number four. When I opened my eyes, I, my eyes got big. It's already one. I, said, well, I told you number four. Oh, I thought you said one and four. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when I look at myself, I said, if one and four, it's not a wooden token. So just go ahead with one. <laughs> so it's, it's somewhere anyways. Right? So, uh, yeah, I already forgiven her. So, <laughs> so 
Back to the message verses, it says this what Jesus' message is better to forgive. So now we come to the verse that we just read. The parable of the unforgiving servant. That was the verse that we just read. So in this story, brothers and sisters, you know, Jesus is fond of telling stories. Kasi, because you know when you tell stories, it's not like you pay attention. That's why, because you know this, we would rather watch a movie or uh, a story than to somebody you know, making a speech or yeah, something like that, right? But here, Jesus is, we can see a lot of times, Jesus makes a parable because it makes it more easy to understand, right? As a, as a ordinary in person, it's easier, easier for us to understand when you have a story. So brothers and sisters, we will we will see, we we'll open up the story that Jesus has given and we can probably infer from there what, what he meant. So in that verse, brothers and sisters, there was a king. There was a king. And brothers and sisters, that king, we know, right? The king represents God. The king represents our Lord Jesus Christ. And in this story, Two men had uh, they had a uh, debt, and the other one had a, a bigger debt than the other one. According to the Bible verse that we, said, we just read, the man owed ten thousand talents. So you know what is a talent? It's not singing talent or sports talent. It's talent is in the Old Test in the in the Bible. It's the a measure of weight, of, of gold. So one talent is, according to uh, to Pastor Matthew, who is a PhD, a PhD, is worth seventy-five pounds. Seventy-five pounds. So and uh, you might one seven uh, one. Wait a bit. One pound is how many ounces? <laughs> uh, close, it's uh, 12, 12 ounces. So, you know, I look up in the... Because this one, this, this writing is, is, is long time. I think 10, 15 years old. So he says here that the price of gold is $400 an ounce. And then I check just today. It is now 1330 $1,337 per ounce of gold. Your gold. So that means a one, one pound of gold, one pound of gold is 12 ounces. So if you will add up 12 ounces times 75 pounds times 10,000, how much is that? In Canadian. So it's about, you know, I was. I never thought about this when I said I was thinking about a few thousand dollars when I was reading the verse, but I was surprised when I read this, it's worth 12 billion dollars. 12 billion dollars. Do you think the person can pay that? I was I was surprised myself. So that means when he was asking the, the king for forgiveness, it, it's likely that he could not pay all the debt. Because his children, his wife, his properties are being taken in order to repay the debt. But in this case, brothers and sisters, it looks it's impossible, right? Impossible. So he fell down and asked for forgiveness. Because he was absolutely incapable of paying it. So in this example, brothers and sisters, the king represents God and uh, the man represents us. And in, in this case, brothers and sisters, the man owes a lot of debt and you cannot pay it. In the same way, the debt we owe to God is 
ang infinite proportion. Magayong ka na 